Hey everybody, welcome to a real life video. Now, if you've seen any of my videos over the past probably like week, you would know that I've built a brand new computer because I've mentioned it in just about every single one. So what I wanted to do with this video is actually show you the computer build, and in case anybody wants to know like my system specs in the future, I can just reference this video and be done with it. The first thing I want to do though is show you my old computer so you can actually see what I've been working with up until this point. So here we go. This is my first computer, and yes, I was using it as a camera stand for that first part. It's a Studio XPS uh, 8100, 8100 from Dell is what it originally was. Now this power supply and this graphics card were not the originals. I did add those in. Well, I added the one in and I needed to upgrade the power supply, so I did. The motherboard, I have no idea what the motherboard is on this thing. It's not actually listed on the parts list that I have here. There is a symbol down here. Let's see. Oh, can I get closer? Right there. And I have no idea what that is, but it's also on my power supply, so that's pretty interesting. But yeah, I have no idea what the motherboard is. The processor is an Intel Core i5-650 processor. Not the best, but it is old. 3.2 gigahertz. Um, also, there's only 3 gigabytes of RAM, which you can see right there. I might have been able to get another one in there, but I actually had no idea. Also, 500 uh, gigabyte uh, hard disk drive. And there is an actual internet card way down there. I don't know if you can actually see it. It's hidden behind this massive graphics card. This is actually an NVIDIA 260X. It was originally in my mom's computer, her Alienware. But when she upgraded hers uh, graphics card, she actually gave me that one. She upgraded hers to a 660 Ti, and then she gave me her old one, which is a 260. Which, up until this point, I mean, it's just still a great card. Considering that it's five, no, it's more than five years later. It's actually eight years later. This computer was actually built in 2010. Um, but yeah, it's, this graphics card's eight years old. And it's still able to play and record 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second. So this computer I'm actually still using for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and Alice Madness Returns. I think those are the only two right now. Also, I'll still use this for Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 because my new computer actually doesn't have an optical drive, and this one does. But like I said, up until recently, this has been used for every single one of my videos, all 900 and something of them, and I've gotten no complaints about crappy quality, so I mean, I must have been doing something right, and it must have been at least a decent computer to get that done. But recently I found out these newer games I haven't been able to play, and I also wanted to get better looking videos in general, which is why I really decided to build a new computer, which is over here, and I actually have to back up to get the whole thing in the shot because it's massive. Now, the motherboard is an Asus X99 Pro. I was going to pick the Deluxe, but after looking at the Deluxe versus the Pro, they seem pretty close to being similar, and uh, this one was actually a lot cheaper. So that's why I went with this one. Now, my processor, which you will never see behind this massive cooling system here is an Intel Core i7 5820K, 3.3 gigahertz, 6 core, 12 thread processor. I went with the 6 cores because video editing reasons. Speaking of the giant cooling fan though, that is a Noct Noctua? Noctua? I'm probably saying that wrong, but it is deadly quiet. Like, I was actually gonna go with water pump. Water pump? Water cooling because I thought it was quieter, but the pumps are actually louder than that thing, and it does its jobs perfectly. I have no complaints about it. It's amazing how quiet it actually is. I was completely surprised. Now, for RAM, I have four sticks of 4 gigabyte DDR4 memory, Corsair Vengeance, which you can barely see there. Yes, it is also hidden behind the uh, air cooler. I have four more slots for memory in this motherboard, so when I feel like going for the full 32 instead of 16, I will have the room for it. Speaking of upgrades though, beneath this metal panel here, I have a 1050 watt EVGA power supply. Like I said, I was just preparing for future upgrades, which is why it is as high as it is. Now for my graphics card, I have an EVGA GeForce GTX 980 Ti Superclocked. All I can say about this thing is it's an absolute beast. I'm in love with this graphics card. It's the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. And I have no problems playing any games, highest settings, max frame rate. It's an absolutely amazing piece of machinery there. And I can't wait to get another one. <laughs> like I said with the future upgrades, eventually I will hopefully get another one. And it will just, my face will melt 
with how amazing my games will look on this thing. For storage, I have a solid state hard drive. It's actually on the other side of this panel back here. Yeah, I didn't I didn't bother taking that side off because it would have been a pain against my wall and everything. Also, I have a two terabyte hard disk drive, Toshiba. The other the solid state is a Samsung and that's the first solid state device I've ever had, and it's amazingly fast. This whole machine is just amazingly fast, and I think that's actually pretty much everything in there. The internet card is wireless. It's part of the motherboard. Um, got two case fans. It's a Fantech Entho case, as you can tell. Fantex! Fantex. Yeah, and there's also another fan right there. Massive fans. You can probably see that black sliver there is the fan. Um, dust filters everywhere on this thing, and it's, I am just so happy that I actually did this. This was one of the things I've always wanted to do, and I finally did it, and I think it was at the best time possible. This machine is the most beautiful thing I've ever created, or ever will create, including my future children in there. <laughs> well, that's pretty terrible. But still, it's the truth. I love this thing. I didn't put any LEDs on it, though, because I really wasn't worried about that. I was just wanting... Pure performance, which, believe me, this thing delivers. So that is my build, and if you have any questions on it, feel free to leave a comment, and I will do my best to answer them. If you have any questions about building computers in general, I would suggest going to uh, the website I use to gather the parts list and ask questions, which is PCPartPicker.com. It was great. I was able to find all the parts I wanted, and then I actually posted that list into the forums and had someone else go through it and suggest cheaper parts, that functioned the same. Also, they told me about how the water cooling probably wasn't the best, and when I looked at it, I did find out that the air cooling was quieter, which suits me better because while recording, I don't want this thing droning the whole time. But yeah, PC Part Picker if you're interested in building your own computer, and I will do my best to answer questions on this build. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.